look at a patient's knee, we divide the knee into three places, the inside of the knee, the outside of the knee, and underneath the kneecap. That's the three places where the cartilage is at. And a patient who is a candidate for macroplasty is a patient that has only arthritis on one of the three compartments, either on the inside, the outside, or underneath the kneecap. Now, if they have arthritis in two or more compartments, then they're a total knee candidate. Macroplasty is a very complicated um, but very accurate way of performing a partial knee replacement. It utilizes a CT before surgery to optimize the fit of the implant for the patient. Then in surgery, we, we maximize the position of the implant by marking landmarks with a computer. And then we're able to make small incremental changes so that the implant will be in perfect position and tracks in a perfect way. The robotic burr is once we determine the, the ideal position of the implant, is a passive robot. So we, instead of making a total knee replacement where we use a saw to cut the bones, in a macroplasty, we burr the bone. And what the robot does, I say it doesn't let you color outside the lines. So as you prepare the bone, if you go too far to the right, it stops. If you go too far to the left, it stops. If you go too deep, it stops. So you get perfect bone preparation. And once the bone is prepared, then you can implant the components and the patients just do remarkably well. I'm very proud to say that we are the first in Detroit to offer the Mako robot. This is a, a, a service that I think will be wonderful for the patients who are candidates for it. I personally have had the same OR team for 12 years and our cases run like clockwork and the patients do marvelous. It was a great experience with the left knee using the Mako. Uh, second day I was put the cane down. I did not use the cane, never used any crutches. I practically walked out of the hospital and there was no pain and it was a very good experience.